Hello, I'm Philippe Lafoucria from the Security Department, and this is my weekly update on the GitLab Inventory Builder. It is June 23rd, and to give you a reminder of what the GitLab um, Inventory Builder is about, it's a project um, that we develop uh, as part of the, the AppSec subdepartment. Uh, and the idea is to generate a maintain complete inventory of all the projects that are involved at some point in the uh, SDRC, uh, so the software development lifecycle of GitLab itself. So we want to be able to track all the changes uh, that would occur on the projects involved in the development, the build, the shipment, the uh, deployments of GitLab itself. Uh, and especially the dependencies, the vulnerabilities around these projects, uh, also the CI configurations and the projects uh, configurations themselves. And so this week uh, is a short week. We have a quick holiday where I live. Um, going to share real quick where I am today. There we go. Let's make that a bit bigger, maybe. All right, so it just added uh, a new flag. It's not actually a new command, it's a new flag to be able to sync uh, just the subtree of the, the world tree. So as a reminder, uh, everything is stored in this data folder and we follow uh, the same naming convention as what we have on gitlab.com. Here it could absolutely work with uh, with your self-hosted instance as well. So in this case, I just want to synchronize this uh, GitLab terminal project. And if I do that, it's going to download the dependencies of this project, the vulnerabilities, because it's uh, a project that is involved. Um, that's what we call the pro a product project. It's involved at some point in um, again, the SDLC of GitLab. And so that's why we want to keep an eye on the dependencies and the vulnerabilities. And once I do that, uh, it's going to store uh, dependencies and vulnerabilities in the data tree directly. And I created a new script to update, uh, to create and update a local database. It's a, an SQLite database that we will use for a lot of different uh, queries and also to generate reports. Um, so it's going to walk the tree and look for dependencies, vulnerabilities, and all of the kind of things and store that in local um, SQLite DB that we have here. And so from there, we can start um, running some basic queries like uh, fetching all the dependencies for the GitLab terminal project. Here we are limiting that to 10, so that's why you don't have everything, but you get the ID. You can see here some, uh, some good dependencies. We would have ribbon race dependencies if, uh, if we were using um, a ribbon race in this project uh, through a gem file.lock. Um, Similarly, we can also query uh, vulnerabilities. Here we're just uh, querying some low vulnerabilities because it's uh, prediction data, so I just don't want to show too much. Uh, it's a public uh, video. Um, and that's interesting because we can start also uh, joining tables uh, together. So we will be able to build reports uh, with pretty much what we want. I'm uh, using SQLite utils to uh, generate these reports. We can also use this tool to run the same queries and directly generate some JSON outputs so that we can uh, digest that into OPA if we want to run some, uh, some policies check. Um, so that's where I am. Next week, I'm going to start generating the, the HTML reports from the data that we have in this DB and uh, publish that as part of the, the pipeline. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and see you next week.